All right, now we're going to look at the concepts of sorting and manipulating arrays. So we're going to start with the same array that we used in the last video about arrays. Luke, Leah, Han, and Chewie. It's our list, four names in it, four strings. And uh, I've put up in the top of the script file here, here's the index numbers right now. So I'll change this as we change it as well, just so we can see what's happening. Now, first we looked at pop and push, then we looked at shift and unshift, which were different ways of adding items. Shift and unshift would place items at this end of the array. Pop and push dealt with items at this end of the array. But what if we wanted to change something inside the array at some other point? To do that, there's another method called splice, which allows us to remove and also optionally add new things in. So it takes two required parameters. The first one is the position of the item or items, the starting position of the item or items that you want to remove, and then how many items you want to remove. So let's say that I'm going to take Luke using the splice method. I'm going to take Luke and I'm going to replace Luke with Ray. So starting at position 0, right here, I want to remove one item and then optionally I'm going to add in Ray. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take something in zero, one thing starting at position zero, so that's Luke, and this is going to be replaced with Ray. So that's going to disappear, and this is what we're going to be left with. So we'll run this file. There we go. So here's the original Ray, Luke, Leah, Han, Chewie. And here's the new one, Ray, Leia, Han, Chewie. So we've effectively replaced Luke with Ray. All right, now let's do a slightly different one. Let's take something right from the middle. So with Splice, I'm going to remove these two and replace them with a single item. So I'm going to take Leah and Han out of there and replace them with Kylo. So characters.splice. Now starting at position one, I'm going to remove two items. So I'm going to remove both Leah and Han. So starting at position one, removing two things, and then replacing them with one thing. And we'll want our console log statement here again. There we are. Run this again. There we are. So here's the new version. We've replaced Leah and Han with Kylo. So now the length of our array is only three items. We've replaced two things with one thing. We can also do the reverse. We can say characters.splice. Let's replace. We've already done this. And that changed Chewy to the number two index. Now what I want to do is I want to replace Kylo with, uh, let's say, C3PO and R2D2. And that'll put Chewie back to the number three position. So this is what we want to achieve. We want to replace Kylo with two items. So starting at position one, replacing one thing, which is Kylo, and I'm going to replace it with C3PO and R2D2. So you can see I can continue adding on more and more and more items. It's just going to take everything that comes after the second number and that will be added into the space left by whatever you've removed. And run it again. And there we are. So the first time we replaced Luke with Ray the second time we replaced Leia and Han with Kylo, and the third time we replaced Kylo with C3PO and R2D2. So, that is the splice command. You can replace one item, you can replace multiple items, you can replace them with one thing, you can replace them with two things, or the final option here, if you just want to remove items. Let's say I don't want to replace them with anything. 
So I'm going to take out C3PO and R2D2, and so I'm left with just Ray and Chewie. So starting at index 1, which is C3PO, I'm going to remove two items, and I'm going to replace them with nothing. So I just leave the third option off, third parameter rather. And there we are, there's our last version, Ray and Chewie. And let's add a couple more things on here, because I want to talk about sorting a little bit now. So I'm going to push onto the end uh, BB-8. And I'm going to push onto there we won. Oh, I didn't write those out. Okay, Ray, Chewy, BB-8, and Obi-Wan. Okay, so I have an array with four items inside of it. Now, the order of the items right now is Ray, Chewy, BB-8, and Obi-Wan. So let's update this. Ray... Chewy is index 1, item 2 is BB-8, and item 3 is Obi-Wan. Okay. For sorting, we have a couple of methods. One of them, reverse. And the other one is sort. So here's our Ray, Chewie, BB-8, and Obi-Wan. And then we call reverse. So Obi-Wan became the first, BB-8 became the second, Chewie became the third, and Ray became the fourth. Reverse just takes whatever the current order of the array is and reverses the index numbers. So effectively what we did was this became 0, this became 1, this became 2, and this became 3. And if you were to use the numbers to access any of them. These are how the numbers are now reflected inside here. The last line, this was the sort. So it takes the alphabetical listing based on the character set you've got. We'll get into character sets later. But it takes the alphabetical order of everything in the array and lists it in that order. If you want to have something in reverse alphabetical order, then you just call sort first and then, after the sort, you call the reverse. So if I go sort first and then reverse, I will have reverse alphabetical order. There we are. Ray, Obi-Wan, Chewie, BB-8. So this was the alphabetical order, and this is the reverse alphabetical order. Now, the very last thing that I wanted to uh, get into here was the index of and last index of command. If you want to search inside of an array to find out if an array has something inside of it, I'm just going to delete some of this stuff here. We can use the index of command to try and find an item inside of an array. So right now, if I run this, let's see what we have. I'll save this and run it again. Okay. So Ray, Leah, Han, Chewie. That's what we have in the array currently. So Ray, Leah, Han, Chewie. That's what we have. Now I want to look in this array to find out if I've got Luke or Leah. So let's look for Luke first. We don't. Let's see what we get. So what do we get back? Negative one. 
Now let's try looking for Leah. One. All right, so let's talk about that. With a negative one for the index of, that means that it wasn't found. So how does that mean not found? Well, this method, index of, what it does is it returns the position of this item in the array. If we look at Leah, it's in position 1. So that's why we got this 1. Luke is not in the array, so we got a negative 1. We changed this Luke to Han, and we run it again. 2 and then 1. So Han is in position 2, Leah is in position 1. There's another method called last index of, which is very similar to this. Really, the only difference is instead of starting at the beginning of the array searching for the item, it starts at the end of the array and searches backwards. It's still going to return the same index. Number one, Leah was at position one. It just started looking at the end. So if there were two, let's say we had a second Leah. And we run this again with last index of. We get four back because it started looking at this end of the array. In position four now, zero, one, two, three, four. Position four is Leah. And with last index of, that's the first one found. Index of Leah. So index of gives you one, last index of gives you four because there's two of them. One in position one and one in position four. And there, pop, push, shift, unshift, sort, reverse, splice, index of, last index of, and length. With that collection of methods and the length property, you can do pretty much anything that you need to with an array. You can manipulate and change and update any array that you're working with. It doesn't matter if it's got strings or booleans or numbers or dates or anything inside of it. You have everything you need to manipulate that array.